What's up guys, Skittle Rampage here. So these Funko Pops are trending upwards in price. So let's check it out. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. It is New Year's. This is a new year. We are in 2023 now. Now for the question of the day, it's going to be obviously, what is your New Year's resolution? What is something that you want to get done this year that you didn't get done last year? Drop a comment down below. All right guys, so it's been a while since we've done a trending Funko Bobs video. So basically what we do in this video is we talk about some Funko Bobs that are currently either trending or being bought up a lot or going up in price essentially. Now today I do have nine selections for you. However, if you wanna to contribute to the video, drop a comment down below of something you've seen going up in price or being bought up a lot, AKA trending. First on our list is some Spider-Man Funko Pops here. This is not really much of a surprise to be honest given we we just got a new trailer or teaser or whatever for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse and it showed a bunch of different Spider-Men and Spider-Women. Like seriously guys, that trailer was insane. So if you haven't checked it out yet, make sure to because there are so many variants of Spider-Man out there. Now one of them is the Peter Parker Kamikaze exclusive here, currently showing $650 in value. Absolutely crazy on this one. I remember this one being very cheap like a year ago. Well. $200 isn't very cheap, but given it's three times the price now, I'd say it was a little cheaper. But in the last few months, especially November and December, we've seen this one slowly creep back up because I do remember where this one was a high value grail and then it tanked a little bit for a while and now it's creeping back up there even more. Now, another one that kind of shot up right as the Across the Spider-Verse trailer dropped was obviously Spider-Man 2099, but more specifically the ECCC exclusive sticker there, the official con sticker. This one's currently showing $145 value and its regular share counterpart, it's still around the $40 to $50 range. Now I fully expected this to happen, especially as we see more teasers and trailers for this movie because it's going to be one of the biggest movies of this year. I almost said next year, but we're in the new year. I keep forgetting that. But given Spider-Man 2099 is going to be a very important character in this movie, this is no surprise at all. So I guess get your Spider-Man 2099 pops now. And given this is one of my favorite suits that Spider-Man has, so excited for this one. Now another really great piece that I feel is very underrated in the Spider-Man man pops we do have spider woman here the nycc exclusive now we've gotten i think two other one or two other iterations of spider woman but i really really like this variation i think this one is awesome and the con sticker is currently showing 80 dollars now the tricky part about this one is it's very hard to find with that official con sticker and it being real. I've seen a lot of swaps out there. And again, this one's very scarce. So even though this price does say $80, it's very possible that anybody who does own her and wants to sell her will probably sell it for more than that $80 mark given it is so hard to find. But if you can't find this one, the shared version is still around $50 to $60, but it's slowly gonna creep up even more once this movie releases. Our last Spider-Man exclusive is the Miles Morales Foot Locker exclusive, currently showing $90. Now. This one has been a little bit of a grail for a while now, probably one of the more expensive Miles Morales pops out there. However, we can slowly see it creeping up a little bit more since that trailer drop, and people are charging a lot more than 90 that I saw on eBay and Mercari. Now, another thing about this particular Miles Morales pop is the fact that it's actually from the first movie, and then the sequel is coming out later this year, so of course it makes sense that the same character from that movie is going to be one of the ones that's gonna shoot up. Drop a comment down below if you own any of the Spider-Man or Spider-Woman Funko Pops we just talked about. Now moving on, we do have Armor Chopper, the recent Funko Shop drop here. Now currently showing a $300 value on Pop Price Guide for this one. Now, technically this one is kind of not trending and trending at the same time because everybody's currently after this exclusive, therefore it's trending and people are paying high prices for it and driving up that price. However, at the same time, it's something new, so that's fully expected, so that's why it is kind of trending. So it is, but it isn't. But you get what I'm trying to say here. Now with Chopper here, he's obviously a more popular character than Brooke, so I do feel like his chase might be a little higher than Brooke in the long run, but for now, I think it's going to have the same, what I'm gonna call it is Brooke effect, where once more chases are introduced into the market, just like Brooke, eventually that price is going to start going down when people start undercutting each other because I don't even think all of the online orders have arrived just yet. So once those are introduced in the market, then we should see him fall down in price. So if you're thinking about buying this one, in my opinion, I would say wait it out until more of the online orders come in and people start undercutting each other to see what the true value ends up being. Because people pay those initial $300, $400 hype prices for the chase and it usually always goes down. But that's just my opinion on that situation. Let me know where you think Chopper might land in price. For Evangelion, one I noticed creeping up was the EVA Unit 1 here, currently sitting at around 
$85. Now you can still find some deals on this one a little bit under $85. However, this one and its bloody counterpart have definitely been trending upwards, just like the rest of the Evangelion pops. Because once retailers started saying that this one was actually discontinued from the factory, that's when a lot of people started upping their prices. Thus, they're a lot more expensive now. And with this line specifically, I do feel like this is one of those sleeper lines where they're only going to get more expensive in the future. Now here we do have a pretty interesting case with Black Ice Frieza, the official SDCC sticker here. So as you can see, this one is currently showing nearly $2,000 in estimated value, and you can see one sale upticked it all the way to that $2,000 mark from the original $650 to $800 range it was at. And how I know this very specifically is one, you're looking at the data on that chart, but two, I was actually going to buy one at SDCC in July for $650. It had that sticker, um, it had some damage, so I ended up not picking it up. However, when I was filming the whatnot video, I was going to pick that one up, and then that's the range it was around, and then now we have this one random sale on eBay for $2,000. I saw some people commenting saying their friends were paying those prices too, but, in my opinion, one sale is not enough to change the value that much. I know this pop is rare and it's really hard to find with that specific sticker, but unless I see multiple actual authentic sales happening with these, I'm just not gonna believe this because there's been a lot of crazy stuff going on with Pop Price Guide lately. And more specifically, a lot of price manipulations going on over there. So. This one hasn't been adjusted just yet, and I don't know if it's going to be. I'm relatively surprised it hasn't been. However, I do feel like this one was still supposed to be around the $800 to $1,000 range max at the moment, but they haven't changed it yet, so maybe this is going to be the new price. However, though, I figured I'd share it because it's definitely an interesting situation, and let me know if you own this piece in your collection. Now, the last two I do want to talk about are The Last of Us Funko Bobs, Joel and Ellie. So firstly, we do have Joel here, currently sitting at $110 in value. As you can see, he did have that spike from the $80 to $90 range up to $110 now, and a lot of people are charging around the $100 plus mark for this exclusive from what I've seen. And with Ellie from The Last of Us, she's currently showing a $65 trending value. However, most of her listings are much higher than that. And this is all due to HBO's live action portrayal of The Last of Us, and a lot of people are very hyped up for this, and a lot of people are hoping it's really good. I do feel like if it's not as good as people think it's going to be, the pops will probably tank down in value because nobody will really want them anymore. But if it is really good, then they're only gonna go up even more. I remember when these pops actually took a little bit of a hit on their value due to the second game receiving so much hate. However, they are back up and strong as ever. I'm personally 50-50 about the live action show. I am going to give it a chance. However, there's been a lot of live action shows and movies that have been really, really bad. So I'm not gonna go in expecting a lot, but I hope I'm wowed. All right, guys, those were our trending picks for this video. Let me know down below if you guys enjoyed this style of video. If you guys wanna see more of them, I can definitely Definitely do that, just make sure to hit that like button. That's everything that I have for you today though. I do wanna say a big shout out to all the wonderful Patreon supporters of the channel. Thank you guys so much for continuing the new year with me. I really do appreciate your love and support towards myself and the channel. If you guys wanna check out the Patreon and join the wonderful community, check out that link down below. We do have a Discord. We do have a Patreon only Discord that's by, we do have a Patreon only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more, and you can make a ton of friends in there. We also have a Facebook group with over 15,000 members that's Buy, Sell, and Trade, and make sure to be following me on all my social medias at Skittle Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page to stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.